Good morning, mathematicians. It is Monday of week seven, and we are going to look at a lot of volume today. And we're starting off with thinking about a volume of this with this little shape. Now, this little shape is interesting. I see a bottom layer that's continuous, and I can pretty easily see that that bottom layer is built of how many cubes? Well, it's built of six cubes, right? That bottom layer. And then look, there's one lone little cube sitting in the top layer. So together, that's going to give me seven cubes, which I can report as seven centimeters cubed. That's our first question. Now, our second question is really a phone break from volume today. And we're thinking about uh, what we've been talking about with fractions as quotients. This says Slash Gordon filled four water balloons with a total of five liters. Of water, we can assume. Each balloon was filled with the same amount of water. How much water was in each balloon? Remember what we talked about, boys and girls, with fractions as quotients. Our top value is the quantity that was being shared. Now, the bottom number, our denominator, is going to be how many it was shared by, right? Uh, it was shared among how many people, or it was short, shared into what portion size. That's always what our fraction is going to look like. Now, with that, we can pretty easily see where the four, where the five should be. He had how much water to share among all of the balloons? He had five liters of water. That is the whole thing that's being shared and is being shared or sorted among how many balloons? Four balloons. With that in mind, we have everything we need to report our fractional answer. So how much water was in each balloon? Five fourth of a liter was in each balloon. That is what that means. Now, they were water balloons. You could write that as well. But certainly, that is the answer. And boys and girls, this for sure, this thinking is the hallmark of understanding fractions as quotients, right? All right, let's go back to the world of volume. What is the volume of the below figure? When you look at this, you might notice that only one dimension is actually identified, and that is a height of 12. Now, when you see that, you might take a look and notice, oh, but look, I am given the area of a space. Now, there was a little error that was made here. This uh, should not say a tiny three. This should say a tiny two, because when we report area, we report it in square units. That's the only thing that may have confused you on this problem, but let's go ahead and enter mine. Let's take a look at that three, let's put that two, and we know that the area of this space, which is congruent to the bottom space, is going to be 20 square centimeters. So that's the area of the base. Well, I know that in addition to volume equals length times width times height, volume can also equal the area of the base times the height. So here we're going to use that the area that equals 20 times 12. Now, I know that 2 times 12 is going to be 24. And then there's a 0 outside that basic fact. So that tells me that my answer is 240 centimeters cubed. This is where we should have a tiny 3. This tiny 3 is true because when we report volume, we do that in cubic units as opposed to area, which is in square units with a tiny three. All right, let's go on and let's think about the nature of a cube. The attributes of a cube are such that all dimensions have the same measure. So it's going to have a height of four. It's going to have a length of four. It's going to have a width of four. To be a cube, we have to have all of those dimensions being the same. Think about a dice when you're playing a game. Right? We're going to write a multiplication sentence. So we're going to say that the volume equals the length times the width times the height. That's what we've done time and time again with this file of problem. So this is a cube. So we're going to have 4 times 4 times 4. Now, 4 times 4 is 16. We need to figure what 16 times 4 is, and then we'll have our answer. 6 times 4 is 24. Here's my 4. Here is my 2. 6 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So I know that the answer here is going to be 64. Now, when we write it in our sentence, let's go ahead and say what that 64 means. 
That 64 means the volume. So that's going to be meter cubed, tiny three times. And then we're going to say equals 4 times 4 times 4. And now we have a multiplication sentence where we have that equation, where we have the balance between the dimensions and the volume. One more question for today. Today is a quick day. We are thinking about the volume of the figure below. And for sure, it's irregular. I'm going to think about the layers of this almost like a slice of bread. Sometimes they're layers of the slice, sometimes they're this way, right? I'm going to think about those layers being vertical, and I'm just going to count how many would be on this back wall. Now, some of them I can't see, but I'm going to assume that behind these two, there are also two to kind of hold these particular cubes up. Some of the cubes we can't see, but we can assume that they're there because they're support cubes, right? So on the bottom layer of that back wall, there would be four. Right here, I can see all four. So, so far, I'm up to eight. Then I see nine and ten. So in this very first layer, right, I'm seeing ten cubes. Now, in this particular layer, I'm seeing two cubes. Together, that's going to give me 12 centimeters cubed. And that finishes out our Monday.